Hello there viewers. Today in the oven we have a HP DV6000 series motherboard. I'm currently set at 200 degrees. Just an ordinary fan assisted oven. Just going to try and reflow the solder on the on the motherboard there. Um, problems we were getting with this is <clears throat> lights were coming on uh, and then and then going off again, just going into a complete cycle, nothing coming up on the screen. Um, hopefully this will work. Um, it's been in there a couple of minutes now, and it's going to stay in there for about ten minutes. Got some plastic coming up on the on the board there, uh, some protective shield stuff. I took the processor out as you can see there. I took the uh, battery, took the battery out at the back. Any cables that that can be disconnected. I'm going to keep a close eye on it, and uh, we'll see how we go. Um, I'll let you know the results. Okay, so here's the board after the oven process. Um, please ignore this here. This was a previous attempt I tried to do with a heat gun. Um, as you can see, it's looking pretty good. It's not melted any of the plastic. Um, it's still quite hot at the moment. Uh, you can certainly smell the the solder after um, I actually switched the oven off about two minutes before the end um, I left it in there for a further for the full ten minutes and um, you can certainly smell the solder melting um, hopefully this would have done it um, you've got this is folded up here but uh, what are you going to do about it? It's an old laptop now anyway, so... Right, okay, I've now put it together and um, I've got plenty of items here to put in there and we'll see where we go. Um, obviously I'm going to put some fresh Arctic Silver um, paste, heat paste on, on these. Um, and we'll see how that goes. Okay, we're all back together. Moment of truth. Power's on. Well, that's a good start. The, the lights ain't flashing. Just got to wait for something to come up on screen now. Ah, there we go. Let's see if it will boot into Windows. on that's booting into Windows Vista now this screen's very reflective Doing something now. And we're in. Excellent. I hope this helps you with your HP DV6000 or even use the same method to reflow. 
and it certainly worked here. Thanks for watching.